back at you with another Cooking Creations. This is Chef Brandon here at the Four Winds Casino. We're in the Copper Rock South Bend. We're gonna have some fun here. We get grilling time here. Uh, I got a perfect combination here. To me, it's a match made in heaven. We got a little pineapple, a little salmon. We're gonna grill it, we're gonna skewer it and grill it. We uh, dress it with a little, uh, little sweet chili marinade, I'd call it. So uh, we'll get busy. Let me explain some of these components. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get busy on these uh, skewers. We're gonna go ahead and get everything cut up here. And I mean, you know, I've been told I can do some miracles in the kitchen. So let's see what we can do here. All right, with the magic, voila. Like I said, we can work magic. All right, got our skewers done here. It's time to work on our marinade. So I got a little bit of sweet chili sauce, about three tablespoons here. I'll hit it with a little bit of sesame oil, toasted sesame oil there. It's, uh, it's a nice strong oil, but it get, brings a lot of flavor. Now, I like to put red chili pepper flakes in mine, so I like a little kick, but you can hold off if you don't like the spice. Some fresh chopped ginger. That always brings a nice little fresh element to the dish. Fresh garlic here chopped up. I'll hit it with a little olive oil. Another, probably another few tablespoons there. Cause we're wanting to make sure, so this is the marinade for your salmon, but you're wanting to make sure that it's not gonna stick on that grill while you're grilling it. Cause when that grill gets hot, you know, that's another key component you wanna make sure is your grill hot. Because the salmon, if it's not, the salmon's gonna stick and then you're not gonna get those pretty lines. You're not gonna get the caramelization you're looking for. So just make sure you got a nice hot grill and some, uh, Boiled up salmon. Look at that, that looks great. So again, if you can if you can put a little marinade on your salmon like the night before, it's always gonna help. Um, if not, it's not that big of a deal because it's gonna caramelize on there while you're grilling it. So like I said, the key to that is get that glaze on there because it's got a lot of oil in there. The grill's nice and hot. So let's get this bad boy searing off here. Oh yeah. That key to that hot grill, man. Your salmon's not gonna stick. Your pineapple's gonna get nice grill lines on there. Get these pulled off the grill. Oh, I think I got some hungry people out there. Let's get these dressed up and ready for dinner. So let's get these things garnished up and get serving. So again, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of toasted sesame. I like to use the black and white sesame seeds, but if you only have white ones, it's okay in the house. Anything's gonna do. You just want to get that little toasted element to it. Uh, you got some of this toasted sesame seed oil in there. So again, it's gonna make it look pretty. We got a little bit of these sh shaved green onions or, or uh, julienned or sliced, however you, however you prefer to do them. And a little secret I like to do, uh, uh, you don't have to do this if you're watching your, uh, you know, your glutens or, or, or your carbs or anything like that, but I like to taste, take these um, crispy uh, wonton strips. You can find these in most of your grocery stores, uh, buy like salad, salad topping 
area or you can find the wonton wraps for your egg rolls if you want to roll them at home or anything. But I like to take these and give it a different little element. Give it a little crisp and, and put it right on top of them. It's going to give them a whole other little element to the dish. Right, and there you have it. Serve them with some lime wedges. All right, there you have it. Another Cooking Creations. Chef Brandon here. We're from my kitchen to yours. Enjoy. This is grilling season, so have some fun.